right, so it's here. The big day is here. I'm finally going to be traveling tomorrow. So I've been home since March 8th, March 9th, and this has got to be the longest stretch I've been home in my entire professional career, right? So I've gotten custom to being at home. I kind of like being at home. I kind of like doing that live show, which you can see uh, is happening right there behind me. But now I'm taking my show on the road. I'm going to Las Vegas to witness the reopening of it. And I get to be there. That means flying all the way across country and doing things that I took for granted that suddenly feel a little bit more strange, a little bit more difficult. So we're gonna try to see what my process is like today, what it's like uh, for everybody out there. So follow my journey. We're gonna, we're gonna do this together. Um, I gotta be honest with you, and the night before, I'm both really excited about getting back on the road, but also kind of anxious. It's a feeling I haven't quite felt in a very, very long time. So it's gonna be interesting getting back into it. And I'm wondering how surreal of an experience it's gonna be, right? Doing the things that we've come to take for granted, but suddenly are the same but different. Oddly strange, oddly empty, we'll see. It's gonna be an interesting experience. Thanks for being here with me. And follow me along. All right, so it's just before 5.30 a.m. I'm at uh, JFK Airport. Air Park, never parked here before. I usually go to a place, but they're closed right now. Good reason. Um, there's a number of cars right in front of the air train, but other than that, it's pretty empty. Um, and this is the busy area. There's fields of parking that are just empty. When I checked about making a reservation in the long-term lot, it said 4% full. Woo. What a crazy surreal experience. So I'm on the air train and the only people on the air train are those who are working here at uh, the airport. A dozen maybe, which is actually more than I expected. Then we come up to Terminal 1, completely closed. Go to Terminal 2, completely closed. Even boards up blocking some of the entrances and stuff. Then I'm arrive at Terminal 4. No Terminal 3 here at JFK. Got knocked down. Uh, and about 50 people at all in this terminal. Unbelievable, weird, dark, surreal. A word I think we're going to be using a lot in the next few days. Surreal, weird, out-of-body experience. Very strange. Uh, what's going on here felt dour, it felt morose, felt very sad, felt very quiet, felt very serious. Um, none of the fun associated with travel at all. Um, just for the record, I uh, um, stepped away from everybody. in the best possible way. It's a responsibility we take extremely seriously and we will continue doing everything we can to ensure you and our 90,000 people worldwide are safe and healthy because nothing is more important. It's why we take extra steps to promote a healthy flying experience, like using high-grade disinfectants on our aircraft that also feature state-of-the-art air circulation systems. There are simple steps we can take together to stay healthy, including Washing our hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Avoiding touching our eyes, nose, and mouth. And covering our cough or sneeze with a tissue or into our arm. For more information, please visit the website below. Having you on board is a privilege we work to earn every day in good times and especially during these challenging times. Today and always, we appreciate you choosing to fly with us. We could not be prouder to serve you. So I'm at the hotel, I had a chance to nap. 
E to hatch that depression up. And looking back on the day, you know what? Not so bad. Why was I anxious? Why was I worried? I don't know. The whole thing was pretty easy peasy. I had a good time. And I gotta tell you, I think we're gonna be getting back to normal soon. So don't worry about it. Let's get back to it. Oh.